Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here. You know, one of my most popular designs here on YouTube is my panda. And I love my panda. I think it's a fantastic design. It's really, really cute. But it's also four balloons, which means that it's not the best choice for when you're in a hurry, like you're doing line work or something. So I decided that I would make a downsized version of my panda. This version takes only two balloons and it's basically a variation of a standard teddy bear design. It just has my panda's face on it. So go ahead and grab one white and one black and let's get started. Alright, so we've got one black and one white for our panda. We're going to start with the white and inflate this so it's got about a six finger tail. We are going to start with about a three finger, maybe three and a half finger bubble. And again, three, three and a half finger bubble. We're going to come back down just a little bit shorter than that. And you can see that that's just a little bit shorter. And then do a small little bubble. Grab your knot and wrap it around that little bubble. And that's going to be the center part of the panda's face. Come down about a hand's width, maybe a little tiny bit more. And put a pinch twist there. And back up a hand's width. Now we are going to go around the head with a basic teddy bear head design. So one bubble that is about as tall as the head and then a bubble to go across the top of the head and another bubble try and match this bubble with that bubble so they're the same length on the side of the head with the rest of this white balloon we're going to go back down the length of the body and then back up the length of the body and you can break off the rest. If you're really good you can get it so that the uh, the balloon comes out perfect and you don't have to break anything off. Okay next we are going to take our black and we just need a little bit of air for this. This is going to be for the eyes and ears. And we are going to start with a pinch twist. That's uh, about a finger and a half maybe bubble. Okay. And we're going to take that, we're going to wrap it around the joint here. And you want it so that it is going through just like that. That's going to be the eye spot. And then we're going to make another pinch twist right there that's going to be the ear. Now I've got my balloon in the back. So this is the front that has the split there and the back does not. I'm going to squeeze the air out as I go across the back of the head. So I'm squeezing the air out of the balloon. It's a, a technique that Scott Kazan refers to as getting skinny. I don't know what the official name is. So you take it across to that other joint and then just twist it right there and make another pinch twist. Now this pinch twist you are going to tuck in just like you did the one on the other side to be the other eye spot. So we've got an eye spot on each side now. We just need our second ear. So make another pinch twist there for the ear. And break that off. Now save that. That's going to be our arms and legs. Tie this off. And that's the face of your panda. It doesn't quite look right because it doesn't have the, uh, the nose drawn on there yet. The nose makes a huge difference on this guy. When you draw this nose, do not draw too close to the joint there. A lot of people draw the nose right here, right above that little joint, 
and it looks funny. The nose actually needs to be here, more on the front rather than on the bottom of that extension. So we'll draw the nose here. drawn that nose a little bit large but that's okay. So there's our nose. You can see there's a bit of space between the mouth and the nose and then you just draw on a bottom lip right there. So that's the panda's face. Take your black balloon and inflate it most of the way. We do very very simple arms and legs on this guy. We are just going to do four bubbles. So just like this, just one, two, three, four. If you want, you can put pinch twists here to act as like feet or hands. Uh, totally up to you if you want to do that. Um, that is an option. Uh, so just the four bubbles. You can attach it either the tail or at the head. We're going to attach at the head. And try not to make these too long. If you make them too long, uh, I think it looks funny. It's cuter if they're if they're a little bit short. They don't want to, You don't want to be too short, obviously, because you do want a little bit of gap between the body and the and the legs and arms. But you don't want that gap to be too large. And match those bubbles on the other side, and wrap back into the neck. Break off the rest, tie it off, you can kind of tuck these in a little bit on the sides and at the bottom on the sides, just like that. That's it. That is your two balloon panda. So now you have, uh, you have a more complicated four balloon panda that's larger and you have a quick little two balloon panda. So I hope you like it. I hope you can get some use out of it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.